Welcome to the Drunken Progressive. I'm your drunken host, Jason W. Shaver. Pretty exciting. Uh, well, Trump got banned from Twitter because he incited a riot, uh, a coup d'etat, to overthrow the government election results. And I think five people died. Uh, and uh, so Twitter finally fucking followed their own terms. And endearments. <laughs> Service. Whatever. Hold on. <coughs> that should make me smarter. Okay. So. Yeah. Um, so he. Made a tweet. Saying like. Everyone go. Break shit at that place. And then a bunch of people went to the place. And tried to break shit. And hurt people, and then Twitter banned them. And now you got the people who don't understand anything are like, "Oh my God, the, the it's free speech, blah, 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 the Constitution." Well, I don't. I've read through the Constitution. Okay, I skimmed through. It. Okay, I'm just making this up. I'm pretty sure it doesn't say in the Constitution that you have the right to a Facebook page or a Twitter account. You can say all the dumb shit you want, but nobody owes you a fucking platform to say that shit. I'm glad I could help. You can still say his shit, he just can't scream it there. Yep. Well, anyway, so he got a fucking banned from Twitter. And that's about three or four years too late. But, it, I mean, people actually got killed. I got put in Twitter jail once. Uh, a few months back, I called someone an inbred redneck, or I called their town, like, he's from a town that's, like, a redneck inbred town or something, and I got put in Twitter jail for a fucking week, and I was just like, the president, like, told people to kidnap the governor of fucking Michigan, and he didn't get fucking shit. So I guess people had to actually die before Twitter, like, enforce their own rules or something but anyway so that's what i wanted to talk about um i'm probably gonna make a few more videos today but because it's just been crazy this week all right all right i'm i'll be back over